you talk to anyone who's into gaming in Fredericton, they'll probably know the gamers in room B8 of Head Hall at the University of New Brunswick. These gamers play one kind of game, and that game is Super Smash Brothers. Smash Bros. is a video game for the Nintendo GameCube, Wii, 64, and Wii U. It involves a bunch of party characters from different games involving Nintendo, and they all fight together, or against each other. Most casual people, they don't really care about the outcome as much, they just kind of want to have fun. We'll competitively use all the advanced techniques as possible to just try and win. For the most part anyway, some people don't really care about winning, but for me it's more about like trying to push as many advantages as I can to make the game faster and more fun and to win. The players who come to Room 8 or GameZilla in St. John don't play casually. They play with different rules meant for competitive play. Some players have even traveled to national tournaments to see how they compare to other countries. These guys take it seriously. Most people probably just see it as a casual game and when I first started playing, I just saw it as pretty basic, and I thought like all the mechanics weren't very hard at all. But now that I've started playing it, you see that it's a really technical game, and a lot of the things you're doing that might seem very basic are really, really hard. But New Brunswick Smash Brothers scene isn't exactly for casual players. It's for competing, winning, and the money. Tournaments have been happening throughout the province for more than two years now. Tournaments in St. John, Fredericton, Moncton, and even small communities like Hampton give players a chance to take their skill to the next level. Let's look at it this way. Big tournaments like EVO in Las Vegas, Nevada awarded over $17,000 in prize money to the top four Super Smash Bros. Melee players. Now, does New Brunswick have the skills that it takes to make it to that level of competitive play? Fredericton players say that before the Smash Bros scene was developed to what it is today, there was a player who was already at that level. Nobody knew who he was until the first Fredericton Gaming Expo in 2013. Super Boom fan, or Daniel Hoyt, was the best player at the Expo and the best in New Brunswick. Hoyt has an amazing track record of placing first at several national tournaments and some call him the best in the world at the first game in the series, Smash Bros 64. Alright, so we have TTC and Super Boom fan here. In the 64 community, he's a big deal. Even in the melee community, like in the beginning days, he was a big deal because he would go out to tournaments. And even when they had um, USA versus the world, they would enter him in those tournaments. Many players in the area say the New Brunswick becoming known relies on Dan representing the Maritimes at tournaments. Unfortunately, as the Smash Bros scene in Fredericton has gained popularity, Hoyt has moved to Edmonton, Alberta. Arguably the best and most consistent player in New Brunswick is now Evan Dennis, also known as Squidward. For some odd reason, if you know him, he loves Subway, and he loves muffins. And one guy from PEI swore that he could destroy Evan. He watched a couple of videos, you know, especially in a tournament where, you know, people are nervous. You know, it looks, the player looks a lot worse than they actually are. And he swore he could destroy Evan, like, free three stock each time. And he played Ganon, and the guy got four stock, then he got three stock. And he proceeded to say, I, he was doing things with Gandorf that I didn't know people could do. While Dennis could be seen as representing New Brunswick's it's, it's, good side of talented players, he's known for being one of the strangest players in the region. Like recently, this local tournament that went by, he felt the need to put on a, an, an ape mask and make ape gestures and throw shit around. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on this or not, but that's literally what he did. And it's like, this is our best player. This, this, this is him. This is the coast's best player is this guy right here. While some players don't mind his funny antics during tournaments, like farting or spouting profanity, some other players tell it like it is when it comes to Dennis. Evan is a straight-up dick. <laughs> He'll tell you what he thinks. He doesn't care. He'll say you're bad, even though he's pretty bad himself. He'll, t he'll say that too, though, so it's fine. When I first started playing, I didn't lose. Dennis isn't lying, but his attitude towards newer players is not I gotta admit, their perseverance is amazing. Like, time after time, they come in, they get bopped by a bunch of other people. They keep coming in. I love these people. It's amazing. Like, I would just give up if I were them. 
Before New Brunswick takes on big national tournaments like Get On My Level in Toronto this May, players will need to dethrone Evan at all games in the series. Players like Knowles keep Evan on his toes at Mealy, but so far other players can't seem to get past him. Knowles says that if New Brunswick players want to get to that level, they need to stop being nice to each other and start winning. He says that Atlantic Canada is too polite compared to where he's from in the Bahamas. It's also, I think it's a cultural thing for Canada also, the Maritimes, people here are really nice. They act, well, they look like, they act like they're nice. It's not necessarily the case, but they'll treat you cordial to your face. Because when I, I'm from the Bahamas and back home, um, I played by myself and when I went, I skipped my graduation retreat to go to a tournament to an, on another island. And the first thing I did, I joined a chat on MSN and a, you know, I met someone's smash boards. And the first thing the group told me was that I'm bad. And it's just a cultural thing. I'm, you, we talk crap a lot. The first thing I told them was like, you guys all suck and I'm gonna destroy you. Knowles has a fair criticism of the Smash Bros community in Fredericton. While it's mostly a joke that Canadians are too nice, New Brunswick Smash tournaments are especially inviting to newer and younger players who want to learn, even if they're not very skilled. Even so, it's going to take a lot before the province is prepared to make itself known to Canada and the rest of North America. Keaton Russell, a top Smash 4 player, says though New Brunswick has a long way to go, players are getting better from the ground up. In the placement pyramid, a lot of our lower level players have been getting better and it's forcing everyone that was mid-level to get better, so the top level is getting better and like with that cycle, I think that we'll see our top levels growing to, you know, new heights and things like that. Mm -hmm. Other players from New Brunswick are training for the next big tournament. They say New Brunswick has certainly lost talent, but it has gained talent and continues to grow at a healthy pace. Veteran player Nathaniel Hicks says that if New Brunswick plays its cards right, some players might hone their skills in time for Toronto. Um, I think with that we've become a lot better in the past year. I don't know, as a, as a landmark for me. I, this seems definitely a lot harder. Like, a year ago it was pretty easy to show up without being too trained to practice up in the week. And, pick your way through by you know, being clever and strong neutral. But nowadays, there's a lot more people who are uh, picking up the game either for the first time or looking at it in a competitive way for the first time and really developing a lot of the, the technical skill that's out there um, and taking it and, and really making themselves credible and viable competitors within the scene. While some New Brunswick players believe their province doesn't have what it takes to compete at a national level, one thing's for sure, the province has a lot of positivity when it comes to new and upcoming players. For St. Thomas Journalism, I'm Sean Goff.